Holy Symbols and Ori Calcum? Cal. 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 Chalcum? Ori Chalcum. I'm not sure. It's a word I've never heard used in life ever, basically. West Enders must unite. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them control you. They are amongst us. They lust after your soul. Vampires are real. Defend your community. If you ever face a vampire, never forget that they fear holy symbols. As long as you have the faith. A cross, a star of David, an olive branch even, can prove useful to repel these creatures of the pit. But you will not harm them for good. If you really want to hurt them, only one solution exists. Forget about wooden stakes or silver bullets, and find yourself the strongest weapon against vampires, or a Chalcum. Do not... Uh, do you think it's a coincidence that Orichalcum was common in, La in Atlantis? The place that isn't real? According to the legend of ancient writings, Atlantis was infested with vampires. Ooh. And at the... And Boss Nass. And the place is now known as the Santorini Island. I'll personally pay 10,000 pounds to the man who can prov uh, provide me some real Orichalcum. Clarence Crossley. For more information, please contact me directly. Use a take go na bunga. Now go. Atlantis. Vampires in Atlantis. That's a Doctor Who episode. Although they already did vampires in Venice. And I think they've already done they've probably done Atlantis already too. Any spooky monsters around here? Being spooky and monstery. It's actually like more spooky around here when it's actually empty. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. We can't reveal ourselves to our mother. Aren't we telling everyone around who we are and what our name is and everything? Are we just hoping word doesn't reach our mother about us being alive? Because a lot of other people just know that it's us who's alive and what our name is and our, our history as a surgeon and everything. We introduce ourselves all the time. the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die we commend unto thy hands of mercy most merciful father the soul of our sister departed and we commit her body to the ground earth to earth Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. One thing. 
This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I wish the tears would come, but I'm empty, and I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity. Don't be so quick to lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me, and it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered, and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends, loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. I'm not a religious man. You should know that. This is not about you forgiving yourself. This is for her. This is you telling Mary how sorry you are. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Is the total lack of people because of her unpopularity or because there just wasn't... There's just no one left alive to mourn the dead. Also, doesn't she have normal eyes? I started questioning her right when she started looking away, so I quite didn't quite catch it, but... Going from my memory, I think I remember her having regular eyes. But I saw her feed, like, earlier in the game. Like, recently. I, I'm doing this. I saw her feed more recently than me, so I don't really know what the bloodshot eyes mean. Doesn't seem to be caused by feeding, because she didn't get red eyes from feeding. Really? Even here, there's people around to stop me. I am going off on a tangent over here, though. So we're back in Whitechapel now. Grab what you can. It's so nice of it all to be so shiny. Unfortunately, I don't need a thousand more red wall, uh, red rods, uh, lead rods. What I need is more, well, any good handles. I really need a, I really need a handle in the situation. A strange formula. This formula, written on a piece of paper, seems complex and needs to be analyzed. Ooh! I've got the final recipes. Now I can treat headaches and migraines and... Neuralgia. Now I can hit- now I can fix all of the people. Forever. But I can't fix my club. Can't go clubbing. A 
Wait, who was it? Migraine. Cold. Alright, I just haven't found you, I think. Headache. Fatigue. Migraine. Headache. Cold. Fatigue. I haven't. Yeah, I have the other ones already. So we're good there. Did I go? Oh, he, that's not nice, sir. I don't think you have like the rights to go in there. Oh well. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Everyone dead? I love how the other the other guy keeps dying when I'm not even fighting him directly. I'll just fight one dude, and the other enemy will just kind of sort itself out. It's neato. What's up here? Or is it just... I think I was just here, wasn't I? Yeah, I warped up there. Okay. Gotta reorient myself sometimes because the environment's... A little samey. Just because we're in the darkness. And, every, and it's a city. One continuous city of similar design as you'd expect. There we go. Hey, buddy. Sorry about this. Not really. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually a horrible liar. The power of AoE. So much AoE. needs to aim when you can blow the whole level up around you. Can't go in there. I hear a voice nearby. Is he in here? Oh, yeah. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. Mesmerize level three required. Who is that? Uh, there's Whitechapel. Mason Swansboro. All right. They have a migraine. And I can't deal with them unless I have Mesmerize. I could treat their migraine. Which I think raises the health status of the whole zone. Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. Never mind. You can't even bring up the medical menus or anything. I only know who he is because he shows up in the other menu. Uh... That's a very small living area. The bed's just coming out the door. Ah, there's the actual stairs that humans would take. Such limited creatures. <laughs> That all you're gonna say? Yep. Yeah. I was trying to listen in. What's and happening? And sure she goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? I 
Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Well, he was massive and seems like somebody that's been destroying, like consuming for a long time or something like he's probably more like warped by it. Got to fill that blood meter. I let it- I let it trend down. I did that whole fight where I was all having fun destroying everything with all my blood powers, but then I didn't actually consume any. Whoops. And that unsolicited counsel. Don't cough in public. So we should be meeting more people like that over time. He was absolutely huge. Oh, that's a bunch of dudes. Hey, Reverend Kane, how you doing? You're probably gonna like the outcome of this. Out guns, rude. What? What was that? Don't hit the. Why are you hit the ground? Resisted. So people can just kind of resist. Stung me with his face. His crucifix. This is not good news. Did he stun me? Was he supposed to stun me in that fight? I don't think I don't think that happened. There we go. Oh, I sh should have tried to feed on him. I'm doubling up my power usages and it's really effective, but it means that I don't get anything back. He, he did the thing where he stabbed his thing into the ground, so I think that was supposed to cause that to happen. But I mostly just ambushed the crap out of him. The body count I'm leaving is huge, and they're not even vampires most of the time. I'm just killing people, most of the time. A little alarming. Ah, familiar. Just trying to make them stop showing up as being new, but I feel like I've looked at each one before. Alright, so who around here needed uh, an update? That guy sucks. Ah, uh, Benjamin's not even in town, so I'll see him later. Can I enter these places? I noticed that like the, if, if somebody doesn't let me in through their door, it seems like I can't go in. Like I think we might be using that rule where you have to be invited. What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Oh, 
You seem to me a good soul, Vicar. But this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? It was an accident. A terrible, terrible accident. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now, and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Yeah, we'll see if there's consequences for that or not. Fun, 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 fun! Back to the hospital now? Okay, so those flower pots are just gonna constantly show up like they're a new item. Ah, uh, alright, I'll just have to learn to ignore it. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Whatever it is, it's between us, and it shouldn't be exposed to the outside world? Uh, well, did you hear the previous conversation you just had where you outed that stuff? Did- Are you paying attention to what you do? Dude? <laughs> I'm, it's, it's really weird for him to- It's like- It's like one of those dialogues where it's like he's trying to recap how I did the conversation, but he contradicts the way that I did it instead? Or is he recoiling away from the idea of giving out that information? Good evening, Mr. Whittaker. It's Father Whittaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? If you propagate the devil's work, you'll perish by the devil's work. Such is the law of the Lord. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes, he is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. Your disciple, Samuel, stole from the dead in Stonebridge Cemetery. I have proof of his crime, and proof of his death. No! Samuel was the best of us. So devoted, so zealous. He gave all he had for the cause. He tirelessly preached the good word. He defiled the dead with his petty thefts. That's how he financed your misguided crusade. Think what you will. When this city is saved, he will be praised for his devoted fortitude. He walked boldly into the mouth of abomination. 
Your precious Samuel used you. He was an immoral crook. <sighs> if that's true, then he will be my burden to bear during this endless night. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood, sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. Tobias Whittaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself, the proliferating sick. You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Can we just kill him now? No one's watching. This place is really big and empty. This mesmerization's nonsense. I don't need no mesmerization. You just bite him, it's easy. It's the easiest shit ever. What? An unknown event happened, like in the past? Uh, how do I get rid of these things? There we go. What is that? What, what's, over, what's over there? Did I miss, like, an occurrence happening in the... in the world around me? I'm curious. Hi. Oh, it's Cardigan Bates. Hey, asshole. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say, a live tenant's a paying tenant. Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this in any case. What? You give me this for free? <sighs> Don't have a clue about this place, do you? Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not really. Why am I not convinced? Maybe it's because you lack faith. Being a skeptic must be useful for a man of science. It's unusual to see someone so happy around here, especially considering the current situation. <laughs> Why should I be sad now? There have always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy, and I intend to stay so. You just needed medicine, like a second ago. Remember? The medicine you needed? Mr. Love, Mr. Mesmerization Level 1 Man? 
What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to? Mr. Bates, do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. I understand, Dr. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. If I were entering into the world of street medicine, it would be on my terms and without such dubious associates as yourself, Mr. Bates. So it's a no, then. That's too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that what you do? I mean, people buy that swamberous shit. What is your business, exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money's not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. In other words, you take advantage of these poor lost souls. Begging your pardon, I thought you was a man who could appreciate the complexity of the modern world. Things ain't just black and white, you know. Tell me, what's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages, absolute bloody savages. Their appearance. Jesus, it made me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. I want to know everything about the recent violence, Cadogan. And I want the truth. Well, rent may be a bit high, and yeah, I've had to evict a few people. But that's business, isn't it? I don't believe even you deserve such a cruel fate. Though you have tested my patience beyond its limit. Glad to hear. Nice to know there's another civilised individual in these parts. Not like those bloody savages. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not really. A man such as yourself, knee-deep in the muck of Whitechapel, must know more. Speak now. Heard it closed after the owners died. Refugees don't want to come to Whitechapel no more. Scared, I hear. You sound disappointed. As long as she was there at the dispensary, it attracted more immigrants and kept my place full. Such a shame. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. Kind of picked the wrong one. I was saying, like, when I said even you don't deserve such a fate, I was thinking in terms of, like, you don't even you don't deserve to be, like, evicted and thrown to the streets. She doesn't have to apply, like, that's how bad what he was doing was.